Hi everyone and welcome to the ninth episode of the New Start series. This is going to be a long long video today. So I hope you're really stoked for this long episode because I sure as hell am. In this episode you can expect more than a hundred bonus swaps. I make at least 10 one profit and I will also tell you what kind of gear you'll need to be able to level up from 75 to 95 in Grotto. Some of you guys that I've met in game have been really generous in wanting to support this channel and so if you as well want to treat me for a cup of coffee or just support the channel there is now a link down in the description for that. Alright, let's do this. Let's start off with me finally making Hour of Sword Grandmaster. Finally. Oh, it has taken me such a long time. I forgot it to put it into the other video when I was still level 55 but yeah, here we go. Here I make it Grandmaster. Let's get right into adding some bonuses. So I got this Iron Helmet plus 9, let's try to add some bonuses to it. I got all of these bonus adders and changes from the last Christmas event last year, when, in which I show you in the last episode that I posted on how to get this. And yeah, I'm gonna try to get some lightning resistance and hopefully one with both lightning resistance and devil bonus. I also got this Earth Talisman from the Advent Calendar, if I remember right. I'm just gonna try and add some bonuses to that as well. Ooh, first try with the Blessing Marble. As you can see I have 25% resistance against darkness here, which is really good in the Demon Tower, but I wanted to change it. And then we got 30% Insects, which is really good in Cave 1 and Cave 2, but I really want something with defense so that I can utilize this Talisman on all characters at every situation. There we go. Let's change some bonuses on this Silver Bracelet. Of course we want here Lightning Resistance, 15% would be awesome. We also are looking for the uh, Strong Against Devil bonus, as well as the 10% of Absorb HP. Those ones are really good here. Alright, so I got 10% Lightning Resistance here, but I'm no chicken. We have a lot of changers, let's go. Ooh, look at this, 10% Half Human, 15 Fire Resistance and 5 <laughs> Absorb HP, that is really good. Alright, let's try one more swap on the Iron Helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Okay, this is gonna work. Okay, this is gonna be good. Oh, well, the 5% absorbed SP here is pretty good actually in Grotto because the creeps there or the monsters in there, they're actually draining your mana. So it's good to have at least some percent absorbed SP in there. I'm gonna change some bonuses on these ebony earrings and this other silver bracelet that I have. And on the ebony earrings I want strong against devils and maybe arrow resistance. And on the silver bracelet, as I mentioned before, lightning resistance, devil bonus or absorb HP is the best. So I got another one with 10% lightning resistance. I'm gonna keep it like this for now, I'm gonna change on the ebony earrings first. And there we go, 20% devil. Also 6% arrow defense, that's uh, really, that's good, that's good. I added 5 bonuses to another silver bracelet trying to get some even better bonuses. 10% lightning resistance again, huh. I mean, having a bracelet with 10% absorb HP is always a good thing to have, just so you know. And there we go, I just swapped it, I get the 15% lightning resistance, that is, uh, that is good enough for me. As long as I can survive in Grotto, I am fine. But since I had more bonus changes, I figured I'd make another silver bracelet with 5 bonuses. I think it's okay to put bonuses on plus 4 items, because if I manage to get really good bonuses, I can just make them plus 9 later. Huh, 20 devils and 8% chance to drop troubled items. Oh, 20% chance to double drop the items. I'm gonna keep this as well. Hmm, I might need to make another silver bracelet with 5 bonuses. Hmm, ah, we strive for perfection. Let's change this again. 20 devils again? I gather a lot of keys from the fish event. 
And here I'm just gonna show you how what you can expect from opening golden chests and silver chests. So a uh, Blazing Scroll, a Curse Book, and a Shuriken Plus. That's actually pretty okay, maybe. Here I got three Full Moon Swords and four different armors that I'm gonna switch to death. Let's see if I can get this 60 average damage that I want. So I'm looking for top tier FMS with high, high average damage. Nothing else matters. We want 59 at least, at least 59 damage. No, I'm kidding, I would be totally fine with 58. It seems I'm not so lucky this time with the full moon swords. Oh well, I wasn't really satisfied with the bracelet I made before, so I just bought one with 10% light resistance and 20% strong as devils from the money that I made from this actual video. I also forgot to show you from the last video that at level 55 you can also kill this boss in the temple. It drops nothing good, but yeah, you can kill it. Here is also me dropping a stone plus four. All right, back to switching. Okay, let's focus more on the armors. I think I can make a lot of profit of these. Okay, so what are we looking for here? We want lightning resistance, of course. We want arrow defense. We also want attack damage, attack value, if that's possible. And absorb to HP is also good. Ooh, 15 lightning resistance. Okay, I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna switch on the other one. Ten percent lightning resistance. Okay, let's take the other one. Oh, ten percent lightning resistance straight away. And this even has uh, arrow defense and absorb HP. So let's take the other one then. We just keep on switching on the worst one until we get the perfect armor. Wind resistance 15? Huh. Okay, so here's what I we got right now. This first warrior armor, the second one I haven't changed on yet, the first sur armor with the 15% wind, and then the last one with 10% light resistance. Okay, let's change on the second warrior armor. 10% win and 10% HP absorb, that's pretty good. Okay, let's switch on the Sura. 15% <gasps> lightning, 15 magic and 10 arrow and 3% SP, that is pretty good. Okay, since I got 15% lightning resistance on that one, I'm gonna switch on this one with 10%, trying to get even better. Attack value 30, that's also pretty good, but let's keep on switching. We want 50 at least, if we're gonna stop. Ten percent once again, and ten percent absorb HP, Ooh, this is also very good, ha! Huh. I just keep on getting good stuff, 
And I will be able to sell this for quite a lot of money. Okay, so I got both of these, 10% with 10% absorb, and then the other one with 15%. Ooh, I think I need to switch on this with 10% wind, the warrior armor. Ah, I hope I don't regret this. Fire resistance, 15%, no. Ooh, attack value 30, one and a half, and 10% wind. This is pretty good. Am I gonna swap on this? I really want to strive for perfection, but this is pretty good. I think this is the worst one I have though. I really want to save the one with 15% lightning resistance. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We strive for perfection, nothing else. Come on. Fifteen lightning resistance again, <gasps> but we already have one. Should I change this then? I think so. Yeah, I think so. You see, let's compare. Okay, this one has SP and HP a little bit. Yeah, this one just has fifteen. Let's change. Ah, oh, fifty attack value. Nice. Okay, I can't really switch on this. Um, I can't switch on something with fifty attack value and one and a half k HP. I'm gonna sell this for a lot of money. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done with the armors for now. All right. So now I'm gonna go into Grotto for the first time with this character, and I'm gonna show you what it's like with my current equipment. What you can expect. And as you can see, they do quite a, a bit of damage, like two hundred, eight hundred. And this is what I got. 15% lightning resistance on the armor, 10 on the helmet. I get earrings with 20% devil. I get a copper necklace plus 9, which gives another 10%. The silver bracelet gives 10 as well. And 10 on the wooden shoes plus 9. So when you have this, this is quite, this is pretty good actually, a lot of them, but they still do 200, 500 damage. And when they pierce hit me with a piercing hit, they do like 800 or a thousand damage. So if I were to use my outer hunt, I would run through a lot of health potions really fast. So I went down and bought these costumes. You add this one, the transform costume to get the second bonus on the costumes. And once you have two of them, that's fine, I think. You can get three, but two is enough. Then you buy these enchant costumes, and you just swap the bonuses until you get something with lightning resistance. Be aware though that this costs a lot of money, these changers. So you need to be really lucky to get this lightning resistance. So just to show you, this cost me 50 million just to switch to these bonuses. So be aware that this can cost a lot of yang to switch the bonuses on your costumes. So this is what I got. I also got the aura outfit because in Grotto you kind of really need a defense against blackout bonus on your shield. Or you can do it like this. You can transmit your bonuses onto an aura outfit. So I just took a level 41 shield that I dropped and attached the bonus. And as you can see, when I'm in Grotto now, when I use the costumes, they do no damage to me at all. Like 18, 5. When you see they deal like 400 damage, that's when they do the piercing hits against me. Stuff with uh, Strongest Devil increases your damage by quite a bit. Because it's quite difficult to do damage to these guys. I also added the skin to my weapon. Here you should get the Strongest Devils. And this is just to be able to kill faster. I also have a pet, which gives me a bit of more defense. And here you can see I currently have with the costume on 8% line resistance. So this is what you need to be able to survive in Grotto without taking that much damage at all. Of course you can do fine with lower than this, but I think this is good for auto hunting. I swapped a lot of low 30 weapons to a good average in my former videos, and I'm just gonna try to make them plus 9. Okay, so I've used 34 Blazing Skulls to get this to plus 8. Let's try to make it plus 9. 
And there we go. Nice. I might sell this for three or four ones. Here we are with the next Red Iron Blade and this will be my 17th Blessing Scroll on this Red Iron Blade. Ah. The 19th? Nope. Okay, so maybe we get it at the 21th. Hmm. And we're back to plus one. Here, you can see I'm not always as lucky as it seems. Okay, the 75th blessing scroll. Come on. Finally. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I wasn't so lucky this time, but yeah, 75 to make it plus 9. As you can see, I gather a lot of ebony earrings plus 0, and here they are plus 7. These are how many ones I get to plus 7, and I, there's one plus 8 up there as well. Let's see how many I can get to plus 9. Okay, so I got 9 to plus 8. Let's see here now. The first one? No. Second one, alright. Nice. Alright, we got 2. Ooh, 3. Four, huh. I mean, it's okay, I still got four. Yeah, it's all right, okay, four to plus nine. That's, uh, that's pretty good. All right, so upgrading all of these to plus nine cost me 35 million. So it costs a lot to upgrade at this blacksmith, but I think it's really worth it. Okay, that was it for this episode, but thank you so much for watching and I wish all of you a great, great Christmas and a happy new year, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.